Okay, so I'm at my storage locker. I'm taking stuff out of there right now. This is really good. I didn't think I still had these these balls for a hitch. I'm hoping the receiver is in there somewhere too yet. Um, I thought I'd gotten rid of those, so I'm really happy to have those. Because if I have to move that camper on my own, then I'm going to need I'm going to need those. That'll save me a lot of money. One of the, one of those balls is worth a lot of money. And I'm not sure what size. I'm not sure what size my camper actually takes. So I have a variety of sizes anyway here, which is good. Uh, anyway, this is what I'm doing. I've been lifting stuff out of here. Uh, oh my gosh, some of the stuff I have. Okay, this is kind of neat. Got some push buttons for it. You can't see hardware push buttons and stuff. This is a radio. There's the put the push buttons are inside there. This is a AM radio out of my uh, before my 1947 Dodge car in the 40s. That was just an AM radio. Look at the size of that thing. There's the speaker. It needs to be recombed. But yeah, that's a radio. And I also have. Wait a minute here. I've got tail lights for a 1962 Pontiac. So I used to have one of those too. There's the rear view mirror from a 1962 Pontiac. <laughs> yeah. Window crank. Like Look at the, um, the ornamentation on that. Look how, how, imagine how much thought went into the design of that. And that, it's a beautiful thing, you know. And with old cars, the entire car was like that. But this is a window crank from a 62 Pontiac. All chrome. There was a little C-clip went in there to hold it to the shaft. And that groove there, you can see there's a groove there. The clip went in there. But yeah. I actually made a set of tools one time for removing those crimps for pushing the door panel back out of the way and getting in there and pushing the clip off so I could remove the panels. I don't have those tools anymore, but anyway, <laughs> those are 62 body act parts. Because I used to have one. Yeah, I did. My dad had one when I was growing up. When, well, when I was real small, he had one. And it was always kind of an obsession with me. I always wanted a 62 Pontiac like my dad had. Because I have a lot of good, me good memories of my dad around that car, you know. There, you stay. Stay. Don't make me get rough with you. <laughs> As if I could do anything, really. Anyway, here we go. Oh, let me pull these out of here. Um, anyway, it's interesting. The reason I'm doing this is I want to get to my gas can, which is way back there. So I've got, and there are a few things I'm going to take with me too. Um, I'm going to take one of those work baits with me. <laughs> I may do that. I don't want to have to buy a gas can when I already own one. Okay, what's in the garbage can? Oh, look at that. That's all full of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I want the garbage can, but I don't want all the stuff, necessarily. Ha! That's a Dremel tool. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll work this out later. I won't worry about it at the moment. Let's just pull it. I knew it had stuff in it, because it's heavy. Okay. That I want to take with me, my garbage can. Yeah. Nice. Nice! Okay, now. Oh, I got my whole history pretty much here, my automotive history in this in this thing. There's my there's a hubcap. They're different parts from my '47 Dodge, little moon hubcap. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I got to keep digging here. I got to keep digging. My goodness, look at all the stuff, eh? There's a Fairfax vacuum cleaner that I built out of two machines years ago when I was smart. I took two machines out of a scrap pile, neither of which worked, and I built one machine out of it. That's how clever I was at one time. <laughs> Long time ago. 
Oh, this here is kind of neat. This is the driver's mirror that he'd look up. It went up over his head, and he'd look at the people in the bus, the kids. Remember that they always had a mirror there, and the driver could look? This is from a 1963 Ford school bus that had a bluebird body. That's what that's from. I have an eclectic bunch of junk. Most of my real household stuff is back in there. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to give you a talking to like I did the other door. Stay. Don't make me get rough with you. Okay, now if I pull this out right now, what's going to happen is every all this is going to come down. So, I'm going to have to start at the top and go down. That's the idea. Yes, it's going to be fun. I'm not looking forward to it. And even more than that, I'm not looking forward to putting everything back. When the ice... Oh, this is something here. When the ice storm happened in um, 1998... Many, many of you may remember the great ice storm of 1998. I rigged up this stove. And what I did is I put candles under here with reflector, with, with aluminum foil to reflect the heat. And I was, this, this was my stove. We were without power at my place for nearly two weeks. And this is what I cooked on. <laughs> so I saved it just as a souvenir anyway just an old scrap piece of wood and use you know made a stove out of it it worked I could boil water on that thing I could um, cook pasta I could cook canned soups and canned stews and things I could do grilled cheese on it it took a while it wasn't quick but then what else did I have to do during a national disaster it's not like not like there was anything going on really that like, damn, I don't have three hours to cook supper. You know, I've got to be doing other things. What's in here now? Oh, jeez. Heavy. Heavy. Holy smokes, look at all this stuff, eh? <laughs> My goodness. Anything you could possibly want and a bunch of stuff you'd probably never want. That's what's in here. <laughs> look at the size of that D-clamp. Holy smokes. I've heard of a girl having double D's before. I guess if I had two of them, I'd say, well, I've got double D's. Who needs a girlfriend when you've got double D's of your own? <laughs> or something. But seeing as how I don't have two of them, I can't do that. So just disregard that joke I made there. <laughs> My goodness. This lamp here is precariously in a precarious spot. Like I say, I was under a lot of pressure. I had to get a whole house emptied out and, and sheds and a workshop and everything else. And I didn't have a lot of time to do it in. This I can use. This here I need. So this is coming with me. It needs to be washed. And I've often wished that I had this. So I like to pick berries in the summertime. I made a makeshift one out of um out of a plastic bowl just drilled holes through it but that that's a better one there so that's actually a one that's meant for that job so we'll keep it holy smokes all right anyway i better keep going <laughs> we'll talk to you later my goodness look at all the stuff oh wow <laughs> i guess this is the curse of abundance eh all right, bye for now.